So welcome to skin level 2. So right now we're going to address what is uh, this dark color under the eyes that everyone or most people have and believe it or not you can correct it naturally by just sleeping some extra hours having some good hours of sleep every night but if you're like me or like every photographer who just works late at night or most people who have different sleeping habits you're gonna have this kind of dark color under your eyes so how to dress it in this case well it's really important you know in a photo shoot that the person is wearing makeup most uh, men will not I believe that men portraits probably don't need much makeup or much uh, correction because the portraits that I do of men I like them to look very natural very rough very aged sometimes but in uh, women portraits we need some makeup makeup makes a huge difference in the result in the outcome of a photograph if you have you can have the best skills editing you can have the best skills as a photographer but if your model don't have a proper makeup if the makeup is bad it's even gonna make your work even more difficult if she doesn't have makeup at all most of the times it's gonna be very difficult but if she has a great makeup then you already have an awesome base so you can start and build a beautiful portrait from the camera and after the camera in Photoshop, you can create amazing portraits. So let me show you what I do. We already saw how to remove uh, the basic imperfections in the video before. If you haven't seen it, you have to go back and see that video and then come back to this one because it's the part two. The part two. Um, now we're going to address this kind of imperfection, which is this dark color under the eyes. And this is gonna be something really interesting to address. I like to make a copy of this mask, Control J, Command J, make a copy. Then I go to Curves. When you're in Curves, you have to go to Layers. Uh, see, that the, see that the mask of the curve is selected. So you have to click on the curves, select the curves. You're gonna have this uh, square around the curves. Double click there. In the first eyedropper, you double click. This window is gonna open. You do absolutely anything here. Just move it away and select a part of the skin that has a good color okay what is a good color okay if this is purple under the eye and this is what you're trying to correct look around the area that you want to correct look for a, a good color like the natural color of the skin of the person that you're correcting the portrait um, up here you're gonna see this says sample size sample size usually is by point sample by default so you have to click on three by three or five by five. This is gonna select three pixels in the picture and it's going to make like a color that is the combination of those three pixels. So it's gonna give you a more like general sample of the good color. So to me, this is the area that we want to correct and the good color will be right here. So I just click on that and I go hit enter. And on this it's save new target color. So default you say no. And now you select the color they want to correct, which will be around here, okay? Now the portrait turned this way, you go to layers. Now you're going to select the mask, select the mask, hit command I or control I, which is inverting the mask to black. Now you're gonna go to the um, brush tool. You're gonna select white color on the brush. Opacity is gonna be down to 3%, you're gonna get really close to the portrait and you're going to select a size for the brush that is good. You select the size by clicking uh, right click on the mouse and then just change the size and address the color, okay? You're gonna click it several times, take your time on this, you don't want to rush it. Now you zoom back and Keep working on the area until you can see that the color is exact the same all along. Now, if you feel like this hasn't made much changes, believe me, it does make a change, a noticeable change. If I turn off the layer right now, you're gonna see how the color was there and now it's gone. All right, before and after. Same thing we're gonna do with the other eye. So we're gonna we're going to create another curve adjustment. So just hit the curves. Same thing, go to layers, select the curves, double click, eyedropper, move this away, 
select an area that you believe is right, right here, enter, no, and then select the color they want to correct, go back to layers in the curves, now you're going to select the mask, hit command I or control I to invert, zoom in the picture, select the brush tool, and start clicking in the color to correct it. You are going to want several times to zoom out to see what you're doing and then zoom in again. As you can see there is a shadow here that we can address. It was pretty much the same color of what we were correcting so you don't have to create a new curves adjustment. Just go over here, turn off and turn on the mask so you can see what you've been doing and if you have to reduce the opacity a little to match because sometimes we overdo, sometimes we uh, brushes so much that we're changing a dark shadow to a light uh, a light color lighter than the skin and sometimes we just create a different kind of spot so turn it off and on to see what you're doing and reduce the opacity if it's necessary once that you have both corrections for each eye notice that I did one eye and then I corrected the other eye I didn't use the same mask or adjustment for both eyes because even though she may be looking straight into the camera or a little bit sideways, it can always have a different tones or colors depending on the side of the face, depending on the shadows, depending maybe there was a light of something that came from one, from one side and hit this side of the face, creating a different color, whatever. It's always good if you're working on one side of the face with one curse correction, make one for one eye, make one for the other eye, make one for one side of the face or for the other side of the face. So we come over here, we have both eyes corrected. What we're going to do now is that we're going to fuse. I like fusing the layer so I go to the lower layer and I hit command E to fuse it. Then I click on the other layer, hit command E to fuse it and if you turn off this layer you're going to see how that's the layer that now has has the effect fused to it. So we can go ahead and duplicate it. Control J or Command J. We're gonna go closer and remember our friend, the patch tool. We're gonna hit that. We're gonna select all this area where the spot was, roughly, and we're gonna drag it down halfway. Make sure you don't hit the nose, okay? Just halfway here or halfway here mostly trying to hit the same colors or the same tones not down here because it's too dark try to keep it around here and let go and now you're going to select over here the area that we corrected and we're going to drag it down over there in this area we're going to select it too we're going to drag it sideways and we're going to drag select over here and drag again now it looks pretty weird but all you have to do now is just lower the opacity to 50%. You can do it by just dragging down here all the way to 50% and look how this is now. If I turn it off and on, you can totally see the differences in how now the skin has fused perfectly with the rest. This is a very important skill to learn because when you know how to edit the skin this way, you're not only be able to, um, you're not only going to be able to just correct these areas, you can also correct like um, a bad tan or a skin difference of colors or whatever. It's so usable. So learn this skill. This is going to help you and it's going to make your life easier and your portraits better. All right. If you liked it, hit the like button, uh, subscribe, leave me your comments about this technique and don't forget to see the next videos when we're going to be retouching the skin in the skin number three.